Hi boys and girls, I hope you're having a great week. Today is Thursday and we're doing 121A, okay? And today we're doing an eight centimeter line segment. So remember you need your ruler on the centimeter side, the numbers close together. And let's go ahead and draw your eight centimeter line. Oh, I wrote it on the wrong side of my ruler. Ignore that. All right, go ahead and write your last name. And let's write left and right. And you know to underline I3. Okay. All right, let's write the date. Uppercase A for April. Today is the 16th, so leave your space, 16, comma, leave the space, 2020. Make sure your whole date fits on the line. The only thing in the basement is your P. All right, and today is Thursday. My uppercase T and my H should be the same size. Oh, we've got quite a few markings for that word. See if you can start figuring them out. All right, we can underline the th, the er church. Put a two over the S because it's making its second sound. And A May. Wow, that's quite a few markings for that word. All right, and I would like for you to draw 16 tally marks. So pause your video till you have all of this done and your tally marks. Then unpause and count with me. All right, let's check your tally marks. Count out loud with me. One, two, three, four, five. Leave the space. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Space. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Space. Sixteen. Boys and girls, if your um, tally marks do not fit in your box, I want you to erase and redo it and work on writing a little bit smaller, a little bit nicer handwriting. If you do not have spaces between your groups, you need to redo it. Okay. All right. Let's practice our handwriting for one hundred and nine. And this one has where we need to do a little correction on their handwriting. So remember, a one is top to bottom, zero is two o'clock up, then back around, a nine is two o'clock to the midline. Theirs looks like it's going a little bit past the midline. All right, go ahead and keep practicing your very best handwriting as you whisper 109. 109. One hundred and nine. One hundred and nine. All right, go ahead and write even or odd. Write how many digits are on the line. Pause your video so you have everything done to that point. All right, for nine, you should have written odd. Remember the circle in your O. Circles in your D's should all be the same size circles. Your D should be the same height. All right, and you should have counted by threes for digits. Three, six, nine, twelve. Good, we have twelve digits. Okay, spy tools out. I see. By 109 in problem one. Oh, and I see a red marking. See if you can figure it out. All right, I've got a silent E, double underline the silent E, rainbow to the I. Let's see, what else do we see today? Boys and girls, that's the only number word I see today. All right, go ahead and put your spy tools away. All right, 
Let's take a look at number two. Colette had seven pencils and three erasers. She gave Steven two pencils. How many pencils does she have now? All right, so they gave us some information to trick us, some information we don't need. Put your finger on the information that we don't need. All right, you should have said three erasers. We don't really care how many erasers there are because we want to know all about pencils. So you can just draw a line straight through those erasers. All right, now let's see if we can figure out a problem. So she had seven pencils. Let's draw a lowercase p for pencils. Right. Remember, a smart student would go back and make sure they have seven. All right. All right, so Colette had seven pencils. She gave two pencils to Stephen. So what type of problem is this? Ready? Some, some went away. Show me your plus or minus. Minus. All right, so remember, when we're subtracting, we cross things off. So we're taking away two. All right, I want you to pause the video while you write out your number sentence. Practice your handwriting for the answer again and write your number word. When you're done, you can unpause and check your answer against mine. All right, so let's see what you put. So seven minus two equals seven, six, five, Let's practice that five handwriting again. And let's write the word five. All right, and there's a red marking for that one. Double underline the E, rainbow to the I. All right, great job. All right, we're gonna review our 3D shapes. All right, grab those for us. All right, so remember, we have a sphere. A sphere is like a ball. It's round. It's all curved. It doesn't have any faces. Faces are flat sides. It doesn't have any vertices, points. All right, and what does a sphere do? A sphere rolls, and that's it. That's all it does. It cannot stack, and it doesn't slide, okay? Our next shape is a cone. All right, a cone has one face, the shape of a circle. It has one vertice, one point. And a cone will roll, and a cone will slide. A cone will not stack. Because remember, something would not balance on that point. All right. Our next shape is a cube. So remember, a cube has one, two, three, four, five, six faces, and all of the faces on a cube are the same size. They're all a square. And a cube has eight vertices. All right, a cube does not roll. A cube slides, and a cube can stack, okay? Our next shape is a rectangular prism. So a rectangular prism has two square faces and four four rectangular faces, okay? It has eight vertices, just like our cube. It can slide, it can stack, but it does not roll. And then our last shape, I like to call this the map daddy of the shapes, a cylinder. A cylinder has two faces, no vertices. A cylinder can roll, a cylinder can stack, a cylinder can slide. It's the only one that can do all three things, okay? All right, let's get out a green crayon. Underline the word green. All right, I want you to find all of your cubes. Find all of the cubes in the picture and color them green. Remember, I want nice handwriting, I mean, nice coloring using those muscles, okay? All right, so here is a cube. All right, and 
you probably saw this cube. And the last cube. If you went outside the lines at all, you need to get your big eraser and make some corrections. All right, now we need an orange crayon. Let's underline the word orange. All right, and now we're looking for cylinders, okay? Kind of looks like a can of soup, but sometimes the skillet cylinders are skinnier, like a marker. A marker is a cylinder, okay? So let's find our orange cylinders. Toilet paper tubes, um, paper towel rolls are like cylinders. All right, so we have this cylinder. And we have this cylinder. So today we are not coloring the cones and we are not coloring the, coloring the spheres. All right, now we're gonna make a graph showing how many cubes and cylinders we colored. So let's get our green again. All right, count your cubes. One, two, three. Let's do three dots on our graph. Okay, and use your orange. How many cylinders did you have? Let's put our dots on the graph. Okay. Now, I want to know how many more cubes than cylinders. So get out your red pencil. All right. Remember where we draw the line from we want to know how, much, how many more of one group than the other? All right. We draw that line where they stop being even or equal. So right here, they stopped. So I'm going to draw my line. Okay. So how many more cubes than cylinders do I have? One. Let's write the word one. And boys and girls, I would also like you to write the subtraction fact that goes with that. Okay. So we had three. I'm just going to write it right up here. Three minus two equals one. So you can use the graph to figure out your answer with your line. You can also do a subtraction fact to figure it out. All right, get out your brown crayon. Okay. And boys and girls, if you need to pause the video to catch up where we are, please pause till you're caught up, okay? All right, I'm gonna slide my paper up just a little bit so I can reach it better. All right, underline the word brown. And let's find our pennies and color them brown. All right, so the last two coins are brown. Remember, Abraham Lincoln is on one side of the penny. And we can color those brown. See if you can stay inside the lines. Strengthen those handwriting muscles, those muscles in your hands. And the brown is starting to die on me. So we've got our copper brown pennies. You can put your brown away. Let's sing our money song. A penny is one, a nickel is five, a dime is 10, and a quarter is 25. All right, let's label our money. We have dimes, so let's put a 10 under them to remind us they are dimes. We have a nickel, so let's put a five under it to remind us that's a nickel. And of course our pennies are worth one. All right, so I want you to count how much money you have, write your answer, and then um, I want you to pause the video till that's done, and then unpause and count again with me to check your answer. 
Okay, let's see what you did. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47. Don't forget the sun sun. All right, boys and girls, I want you to turn your paper over and do the money problem on the back and have someone check it for you. So pause the video until you've done the money problem on the back, then come back and join me for problem six. All right, let's go down to problem six. Remember we have three add-ins, pick two to add first, then add the third one. So go ahead and do both of these problems and then unpause and check your answers. All right, I'm gonna choose to do six plus six because that's a double. Whichever you chose was fine. 12 and one more is 13. If your answer is cor correct, great job. If not, just go back and try again. All right, oh, I see a friend who makes 10. Seven and three. 10 plus five, I write a one. Copy the other number. Boys and girls, if you missed these or you had any um, things that were a little bit challenging today, you can turn your paper over and do those same ones on the back. I want everyone to do the money problem on the back. All right, when you are done with this paper today, you are doing your fact paper, 121A. These are all subtraction problems. So remember, you put the big number in your head and count down. For ones that are 10 minus a number, remember, that's just your friends who make 10. One is friends with nine. Uh, three is friends with seven. All right, have a great afternoon. Bye.